Welcome back, guys. Episode 3 here, and man, I'm having fun in this mod pack. We're just over here doing some agri-craft stuff. We've been getting these guys up pretty good here, just um, waiting for them to get grown. And we haven't advanced too far. I mean, we have like threes and twos, I think, are pretty much our highest stats on any of the stuff. But we're just going to let that keep going. I'm poking around with it. Today, though, we're not doing too much with agri-craft because this guy, I think, is all full up here. And so what we're going to be doing is getting to that water wheel. So up first, we have our thermionic fabricator, which is this here, sturdy case and gold chest, blah, blah, blah. So put this together here. I think I've got everything all in order for that. Uh, and how did that go? The sturdy casing... We'll just click that into there and that should be everything yes it is so we have our thermionic fabricator but why did we need it we needed it to make the assembly table right well if you spell it right you can pull it up no we needed it for the laser for the assembly table that's what it was right so for the laser we need to make these electron tubes which is going to be five diamond two redstone and of course the sand in there so we've got some glass that'll work just as well we can grab our two redstone we can grab our five diamonds and let's put this guy together now we don't want to leave him set up for too long because he just constantly sucks energy as you see whether it's doing work or not it's always using energy which is kind of annoying so we're gonna just do it real quick there what are we missing something can it not get energy out of here cuz nope it's full of energy let's see did we mess something up yes we did okay so there it goes now little progress bar so while that's going we need that now we can start looking at the assembly table why do I keep doing that and for this we need some obsidian and a bunch of diamonds I think we have enough diamonds obsidian there's a lot easier way for us to make obsidian so what we're gonna do we have two tanks here now we're going to fill one tank with lava and one tank with water and we're going to make some obsidian in the smeltery. Quick detour. I'm sick of having to eat like a hundred pieces of food just to bring my hunger bar back up. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a juicer nice and quickly. Don't ask me how a stone on a pressure plate would make a juicer, but it does. I think maybe all three of these can be juiced up. So we will check with that and grape juice is a thing too so that is our new handy tool for eating and that's just gonna save us time and probably mean that we have enough crops over here to keep us full but we're gonna keep going let me grab the water while I'm over here I'll just be eight buckets into here what are we at here six seven and eight so what you can do is you just dump these into your smeltery and then you pour it into the casting basin and that is going to give obsidian. We do need to open that up with the hammer, drain that out, get that back, put the water in there, drain that, get that back, fill let's just take that off there and then the casting basin and we will go ahead and get obsidian blocks out of there now it's one block um, per bucket so it's the same as if you were to go dig it up or if you were to get lava whatever it's the same exchange rate this just makes it easier because you don't have to swing your pickaxe forever we do need to add some redstone onto our lumite pickaxe but we haven't done that yet and uh, this way is just a lot quicker and easier so once I get all of that together, we should be able to go ahead and make our assembly table um, and the laser, because I think, yep, those are all done now. So let's just take that 
Let's disconnect him so that this guy can fill back up because we're going to need all of that power later on for our laser. So let's go ahead and put the laser together. As a matter of fact, I think we've got what we need for it now. We do. Let me just pull out the redstone and put it together. So that is... We may as well make two of them actually because we've got the tubes for it and uh, the more you have for these guys the more well the quicker that it will go so we are going to need some sort of basic cables to tie these all together and we still need the assembly table so let me go ahead and get the rest of the obsidian that we're going to need because we're going to need one more case of that and then we should be good to go Man, this assembly table is just about going to wipe us out of diamonds. I think we're going to end up with like three left. So I definitely need to get off in mining to get a bit more of those. But that is our assembly table done. And I went and made some wires. Now, I love the way that the wires here connect. The, the LV wires, well, I guess the wires from Immersive Engineering, that actually look like wires. They kind of droop like real cables. I don't know, I like it. So let me see if this is even gonna power these guys. I guess we need to put one more on here. Um, I don't know if you could power them from the side like that. But it looks like they are charged up, so you can do it that way. So what did we even need this setup for? Next is for making the metal former, I believe, right? So what piece in there did we need it for? Ah, yes, the iron chipset. That's what we needed. So iron and redstone, that is quite easy. And I think we're going to set a few of these to go because these are used for a lot of things. So let's go ahead. We'll put four in there. We've got four redstone and let it go because this thing is not getting a lot of power. It's going to have a good amount of power to begin with but it's going to drain this thing down. Watch how quick it's draining this down and then it's going to be slow. So we'll just let this run while we're going. We'll put a chest next to it. Now I don't know if this can create it and put it somewhere or if it has to output into a chest and I really don't want to lose it early on so we'll just put it next to a chest because we've got all this wood here. and I guess it's gonna be quite a while until that's done even with the power that we had stored up for it uh, it's still going pretty slow and we're just about out of power how much power did each of those take alright 200 RF and we only had 100 and it took us like an hour to get up to this 100 RF so we've got quite a while to go now that it's drained down watch how slow this is gonna get created now that these things are out of power I mean it's just slowing right down so I guess now's as good a time as any to go replenish our diamond supply isn't it I've been staring at this thing waiting 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 finally we've got one of them done that thing takes an absolute age to finish so we got our basic machine casing there we just need to get a bunch of these guys here and then smash them down one more time to put around the chests and that gives us our two toolboxes which apparently don't stack and that should be everything we need except this guy here uh, the insulated cable I already made those so why didn't that shift in bring that down there that over there and that should do it right there we go so now we have our metal former which we are going to put beautifully right next to there we're gonna grab one of these guys here one of these guys here and power it up and of course it's not going to get any power because that is taking all the power right yes so let's shut that down for now and there we go now it's getting some power but it is going to take forever so what we need to do is put an iron block in there 
to make the shaft. Is that what it was called? The water wheel? Yes, the iron shaft, extruding mode, iron block. So, let's see. Extruding, iron block, how long is this going to take? Once it runs out of power, it's going to slow down, right? Yep. A third of the way through, and it slowed down. Obviously, power is our main bottleneck at this point, now that we've got machines going, which is why we're making the water wheels. So, um, I guess we're just going to wait for this to go. But with the water wheel, we do need to connect it to... Is it a capacitor? I know that it's made from the uh, the medium voltage capacitor. So what is it called? Kinetic dynamo. That's what we need. So I guess I'm going to need to see how we can make a kinetic dynamo, which isn't looking good. We need steel. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh. There's a flaw to our plan. And that is that we need to make some steel or refined iron, which means we need a blast furnace to even get here. I probably should have checked that to begin with. So I guess let's look at what's in a blast furnace. Now, there are two different types of blast furnace. We can make the railcraft one which is nice because that just takes iron and charcoal or coal something like that or is it the coal coke and it turns it into steel for us whereas this blast furnace if you use the industrial craft one it takes iron and then you need compressed air into it so then you gotta make a compressor and it takes a whole lot more power and this one is kind of automatic but it needs ender pearls, ball of glue, or TNT, and a bunch of bricks. And how big is this? Three by four by three. So we need what about five? Either five TNT, five ender pearls, or five glue. And it is nighttime now, so I guess we don't have any armor. So fighting endermen might not be the best idea. But I guess we could always die trying. So it's just about daytime now. It doesn't look like there's anything else left. We've been doing it the old fashioned way where you just make a roof and then you look around for an enderman and you let him chase you back here. Um, but the sun is coming up now. So that puts an end to it. We did get three ender pearls. It's actually been two nights now. Uh, so we've got a little bit on the way. Um, now I do need to find a little bit of clay, which hopefully there's some in this river over there, or pond, as it were. Uh, let me collect up some of that, because we do need to make a bunch of the bricks as well. Wow. Look what I just found. A little villager village, and some of the pink trees. We're really not that far from home. Uh, here's our home. This is where we've been collecting lava, and I guess I just never walked far enough over here to uncover this thing before or maybe I just didn't notice it we've really just stayed in our own little area here but um hey let's go see what our villager friends have for us huh so these guys actually have a couple of goodies for us uh, some iron leggings and a leather cap which is nice because you need the leather armor to be able to make the iron armor so why don't we put these guys on now and we'll make the leather cap pretty soon here. And there's also this nice agri-craft um, garden they've got in here. So I'm going to sort through this and see what they've got. Um, of course none of them are analyzed and I don't know if these have stats on them or if they always just have like 111. But um, we'll sort that out. This is really not far from home at all. So we'll come back for that. Because what I did see over here, aside from a huge tree growing through their house, is that there is a, uh, a bee guy over here. And so there's a couple of apiaries which are huge. Like that, that is awesome that we're just going to be able to run off with these guys. And a couple of princesses, propolis. So there's some stuff in here and I told you we were going to get started on bees soon and that just sped us up so much having the apiaries so now we can basically just automate bees right off the bat 
So this is going to speed it up and make it a lot easier for us to do what we want with it. So I'm really glad I ran into this place. If we had found it earlier, we would have been able to upgrade our smeltery sooner. But I think we did fine for ourselves as it is. And I think I've looked through everything now and got all of the good stuff for us. Let me just try to get up high here and make sure there aren't any houses that I didn't check out. You know what? Those cobwebs around that tree means that there's a spider spawner and a chest of goodies underneath. Haha! -ha. Oh, but the spider hurts. Because we don't have much for armor. So that is actually awesome. Who are you shooting at? Hopefully not me. Let's see what's in this chest. Um, this might not have been a good idea. You need to die before you kill me. I don't trust you at all. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, they're not hitting me, so this isn't bad at all. I don't know why they're mad at me to begin with. Uh, looks like there's a chest down there. So if I can get lucky enough to pick that up. Am I lagging out here? What's going on? Because I can't see everything that's down there and I can't tell if there are goodies down there or what. Yes, yeah, we've got iridium shards. Alright, dark steel, tin, copper. Okay, there's the chest. So there we go. And of course. Alright, so now let's just put everything into the chest and see. Is that all the stuff we've got? Let's turn this into a broken spawner. I don't know why we didn't do that before. The broken spawners from Ender.io later on, we can turn that into our own spawner. But, uh... Alright, so it looks like we've got a couple of things here that'll be of use maybe later on. Um, we'll take that with us. But we know that it's here, and it's not far from home. Oh, we have the music disc. Of course, you never want to lose one of those. They're useless as they are. Um... And then we'll take the dark steel with us. Now, okay, we got the good leather cap, and there's an extra one in there. All right, so that's something that we do have to look out for. Whoa. Apparently there's one of those out already. So that's something that we do need to look out for, is these trees with the cobwebs, because then we can um, hurry along our ender pearl game if we find some of the ender lily seeds. So I'm thinking that maybe rather than trying to fight off Oh, look at that. Some berry bushes, too. Rather than trying to fight off a bunch of endermen and not really having any luck on it, maybe I should just go running around and find some more of those trees. I'm going to give that a shot. It's just our lucky day. I mean, we didn't even walk far away. The village is right there, and... Our home is right here, village is right here, and we've stumbled on uh, an AE2 meteorite. Which, <laughs> AE2 is forever away for us. Uh oh, there's a torch on there. Maybe someone else from the server has already been here and claimed the chest from inside. Which is fine, AE2, as I was saying, is forever away for us. So if that one has already been claimed, it's not a big deal. Um, just kind of cool that it's so close to where we started. So let's pick up a little bit of cobble so I can pull her up there. We'll just see if the if this thing is hollowed out. But again, it, it won't matter for us. But yeah, looks like it's been robbed of its goodies. Yep, just an empty chest. That's fine. We'll be able to find them when we need them. It's getting dark now. So I guess I'll hunt Endermen at night, and I'll just keep walking during the day till I find trees. I see another tree over there, and there was another one in the distance somewhere else I can't see from here. Or one there, and one there. So I'm going to make my way towards those trees and hope for some Ender Lily seeds. Okay, I'm back home now. We did find a couple more um, trees. I thought I recorded it, but um, I looked back, and... Either I didn't hit the record button or I can't find the file right now, but I may or may not have lost it. In either case, we have found an ender lily seed. 
we've sorted through the best of the stuff that was in the chests and whatever. Um, so we've got one seed and we've got the three pearls. So these things take absolute ages to make and we don't have any end stone to plant it on um i don't know i think you can yeah okay so you can put resin and ender on obsidian and make end stone but we've kind of don't want to waste our ender pearls right now so we're just gonna have to grow this on grass um i do have this area chunk loaded in here so it'll kind of grow all the time and hopefully eventually make sure i put it in one of the chunks that is loaded what are they okay so this chunk over here is loaded well it'll be out of the way a little bit so they don't accidentally knock the thing um and it takes forever if it's not an end stone but we'll get there eventually i'll do some other stuff and um I guess we'll get back to well we gotta cook these up let's look at what we need because it's <laughs> we got sidetracked by a couple of adventures and now I can't remember exactly how many of everything that we need so blast furnace it's gonna make four we gotta get the bricks cooked and we've got sand so I guess why don't I go ahead and cook up the bricks uh, 32 should be good and we'll see how many that makes and how many more we need. Why didn't anybody warn me? We need these bricks, which means we need to smelt clay balls. So <laughs> I am breaking these back down and we did have some extra of the other bricks from before. Um, so we may not be all that far away from it now. Let's get these guys in there to cook and some more down here. Guess we don't have another full stack just yet. So this should do it. And 52 it is. Now I know that we put some more bricks somewhere. Here. We've got the hardened clay, but that's alright because that goes into making these uh, wire connectors, so we'll use those later on no big deal I put a chest over here with our B stuff we're not gonna do that today maybe that'll be next episode but um, we got some stuff I did notice we've got uh, Queens and princesses but we don't have any drones but that's fine those are the easy ones to get that is what you want to be short on so we'll get that set up but for now we're just gonna wait for these to cook I think we are getting our second incomplete for today uh, I started putting together the blast furnace. I pulled out the window behind there like a fool. I had the ender pearls in the hotkey and I clicked the wrong way and threw one of the ender pearls. So this is as many bricks as we have. We actually need six or seven more ender pearls to complete this blast furnace. And uh, well, this thing still hasn't grown. So uh, that's going to be a while. And I've got this thing. Uh, our generator was starting to fill back up with some juice, so I threw some more redstone and iron in there. We've got some more iron chipsets going. But I think we want a better way to store power than just the 100k that we can store in there. So what we're going to do here, I think, to wrap this up is make a leadstone energy cell. Because we've got what we need, I think, to put all that together. Uh, the tin electron tube, so we need, what is this, all tin and two redstone which we can easily do that uh, which one is tin right there and two redstone on our power hungry thermionic fabricator so we can put the pattern in there and put those two down there and what's it need uh, oh, it probably needs glass. Yeah, it doesn't say what was in there. So we'll put one of those. And I think what we can do, because we don't want to lose our progress, is if we just pull that off, it'll feed all its power into there. So this is still going to take quite a while to go. But that's okay. We'll leave that. And uh, what else? We'll get ready for the rest of it. This here... We're going to need some rubber. Now we did pick up some rubber saplings 
from our journey, which this rubber is a lot easier to get than the rubber trees that are around here. It just gives more. Um, I think, I don't know if it's absolutely every log gives a piece of rubber, but it's pretty, yes, he's seven to seven. Um, and that's a lot better than the other ones, which you might get one per tree for the industrial craft rubber trees. So glad that we stumbled upon those. So we've got that cooking up. It's going to help us make this. We're going to need some copper cable, which that's easy enough. Not sure how much we're going to need. So let's do two sets of those into there. We have our snippers over here, I believe. Yep. So that should give us four. And I think we have two more in the chest over here that we saw earlier. So how far away are we then? That gives us this complete because we know we've got iron plates. I think I even have one in my inventory. So four lead. What is this? Electrum. What is electrum? That's just gold and silver, I believe, right? Yep, and we can do that in there. So we'll take one of those and one of those. We'll turn that off because I don't know if they melt at the same time. And that'll make us some electrum. Let's see how long we've got on our thermionic fabricator. It's getting, oh. It's up to temperature, so that's all there is there. Let's hook this bag up. Let's take him down. And we'll put away the rest of the tin here that we don't need. So there, that is that. What is this guy? A block of redstone, four glass, four lead. That we should be able to do pretty easy. So there's four get a block of redstone and we've got glass on this. Excellent. Got that guy there. Whoa. What is this? I don't know what I just clicked, but if anyone knows what that is, then you can chime in because I have no idea what I clicked into or how I got to it. But nonetheless, Let's keep working on this. Do we have one iron plate? We have two iron plates. Excellent. And the rubber is done. So let's put these together here. And that should give us one more component. Sometimes it doesn't want to shift click in there for me. Or I guess question click, whatever you want to call it. So we're just waiting on this Electrum ing ingot now, which is done. So that there. Wait for the Electrum to pop into here. Any minute now. There we go. So we got that with our redstone. Gives us that, which should be everything. See, it didn't want to do it again. Uh, do we not have the four lead anyways? We don't have the four lead. So there's four. Let's try it one more time with everything. And it worked that time, of course, because I mentioned it. So we're going to hook this guy up just right next to it with our last piece of wire. And then we have to configure the top to be output and it's going to be able to suck in because it's next to it so we can have that on blue let's see let's just make sure that that's going to accept energy into it it's not why not isn't blue on that side do we need something other than blue Am I not looking at this correctly? I think that is right. Can this not directly output into here? I 
I don't know. So what if we put that on there and connect this? So we're just going to need to use two sides. Do we have no idea what we're doing here? What's the problem? That is full, but it's not feeding that. It's just stockpiling in there. I am baffled. Are those wires not compatible with it? Let's take our trusty little fix everything hammer and give it a couple of whacks. And if it doesn't fix it, then I will see. Whoa. Did that work? Nope. That's just spinning it. That's not going to do anything for us. So let me figure out why that's not working. Okay, I figured it out. Actually, I have no idea why it was working and then it wasn't. But what I did was the energy from here has to go into the energy cell before being redistributed and that seemed to do the trick, though I have no idea why. But I don't necessarily care why as long as it works we're happy so now 400 here 100 here we have the possibility of st storing half a million RF which will be nice because we are chunk loaded here our ender lily seed of course is still at zero percent and it's been well over an hour in between these cuts so that is going to take probably an entire day which means I think this is all we've had time for for today is failing making the water wheel failing making the blast furnace and succeeding on not really anything a leadstone energy cell and an ender lily seed Ooh, look at that it's up to 14 percent so yes small successes that is what expert mode's all about but i have to say i love it we're almost out of lava so i'm going to refill that and i will see you guys in the next episode